Hello my dear Pisces, welcome back to the Lucky Tarot. This is the end of November general love tarot reading. Today we're going to be using the original right away tarot deck for your reading. How is everybody? I hope you're all are doing very well. I just got back recently. I, I lost my voice but I have now recovered from that so I apologize for the delay of the uploads. And thank you guys so much for your patience, for everyone who's been liking and sharing the videos, also your subscriptions. I'm grateful to all of you guys. So we're back with another general reading. As you all know, this is not going to be for everybody. Please take whatever resonates and leave out what doesn't. But for those who want to request for a private reading, my information is down below. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Love messages for the last few days of November. Alright, last shuffle. Spirit, angels, and universe, what are the messages for the sign of Pisces, sun, wind, and rising? Please allow us to see only a reflection of the truth. Allow us to see what they can expect in love and relationships this last few days of November. Okie dokie. Let me just cut this deck and let's begin. First card, seven of swords, Pisces. What's going on? Oh my gosh, five of swords in reverse. Eight of Swords in reverse. Too much thinking. Nine of Swords. Page of Pentacles. I'm happy to see that. Ten of Cups. And the um, overall theme or energy for this reading, we do have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So since I'm reading for a lot of you guys, please note that roles can be reversed here, okay? Um, I feel like without getting into details of this reading, I can easily say that you are overly thinking how to build a relationship with someone, how to land on commitment, a structured uh, label on this relationship. It feels as though you're struggling to build that solid foundation with a partner, okay? Because I don't see any ones in this reading. For some of you, I feel like the fire and the passion is dying because the negative thoughts is getting the best of you. And for some of you, I feel like you're lacking the motivation, um, doing more, more planning, more action to cultivate the relationship and to develop more solid activities that can bring the two of you together. That is what I feel like. But I do see that... <clears throat> page of pentacles with the knight of swords um these two are not your element i don't even see a lot of cups here except for that of the ten of cups this means that this being the ten is a finality it speaks about finally being happy after what you're going through and this is more on the future i feel like this ten of cups in the next coming days you're going to reach a finality so whatever you're worrying about whatever difficulty you're facing at the moment it's going to come to an end and with a ten of cups it's kind of like a uh, clarity after a lot of confusion okay it's a synthesis of happiness and can also mean forgiveness coming together reconciliation and the ability to celebrate the relationship despite what you are struggling with at the moment um, I feel some heaviness due to a conflict with the Knight of Swords right here. Someone is very angry. Someone is charging in, you know, um, without much regard to the consequences of his or her actions. But I feel like with this Knight of Swords, he or she feels like he is fighting for the truth or fighting against the truth. All right. It depends on your situation. But with the Seven of Swords right here, I feel like one of you in this relationship has been untruthful. One of you has twisted 
um, the truth from the other person, try to run away from being honest, trying to trying to run away from responsibilities, not doing his or her part in the partnership. And that is why one person is um, very angry, very disappointed, wants something to be done because of this deception, okay? And the other person wants forgiveness. I see here page of pentacles right there trying to offer that pentacle trying to trying to have a resolution about this conflict you know trying to turn the new leaf wants to bring in some form of new energy um, wants to to offer stability after much confusion a lot of air in this reading suggests that a lot has been up in the air kind of like confusing going back and forth arguing about small things and it has really come into this point where it has just blown out of proportion and it's not necessarily need to be so you know i think that you are realizing that because you were also caught in the moment is what i feel like pisces and i'm reading intuitively here i feel like the burden is on your shoulder and you keep on um trying to think rationally how to fix this conflict but you're highlighting more of your mistakes you're highlighting more of what you should have and you should not have done you know when in fact the reality is it takes two for a relationship to work you cannot put all the blame on you or you cannot keep covering up when someone is behaving like the seven of swords this is this person's decision to do that to you and the relationship it doesn't mean that this person um, intends to hurt you but this is this person's decision to do so you on the other hand I feel like you want to focus on being happy you're even considering fixing this relationship altogether or maybe coming together in the future but it's gonna take time see eight of swords in reverse I am very glad to see this in reverse just below the ten of ten of cups right there it means that for you to reach a state of happiness even if it means letting go of what's causing all this negativity in your life or letting go of a relationship and being with, with your family, like blood family you know, or, or people you consider a family, then that is a good thing. You don't need to be trapped in this prison that you created in your head just because someone did you wrong. All right, I, I cannot stress this enough. I think that whoever you dealt with could have been this Knight of Swords or this Page of Pentacles, since I do see here uh, two suits, you know, or whatever sign that is in the zodiac. I feel like someone doesn't deserve to be, um, doesn't really deserve to, deserve to be part of your life if they keep on hurting you, especially because of their own self-ambition or self-serving reasons it's kind of like selfish to be honest with the seven of swords right here the moment this person did this to you i feel like they stop regarding how you would feel they stop regarding um the relationship altogether so this person could have really um just thought of himself momentarily thought of what's gonna make this person happy okay maybe you're here thinking what you could have done better or what you could have done to fix the situation but what you fail to realize pisces is this is not on you but on the other person this is this person's decision alone although i would say with the five of of swords here i feel like this person tried to pin down the mistakes because of your behavior but that's all lies you know remember seven of swords is all about deception so whoever you dealt with i felt like i feel like they try to put the blame on you trying to play mind games on you and this type of person doesn't deserve to be in your life to be honest if they keep behaving this way not even owning up to their own actions forgiveness is there i do believe in forgiveness in second chances even but if this person doesn't even own up his or her own her own intentions mistakes and and um being honest with you after all of this then i believe you need to take a step back and don't allow this person in your life for that simple reason that you don't deserve someone who can even man up or woman up to what they've been doing to you okay five of swords this is kind of like um borderline boredom someone is bored in this relationship it could be that whoever did this 
deception um, has been bored in this relationship for a long time. Boredom caused this person to think of things that is that led him or her to behave this way. Seven of Swords. Sketchy. Did things behind your back that you may or may not be aware of. But I felt like you were aware of. Um, that's the thing, Pisces. I felt like for a long time you tried to deny that about yourself. But it started to creep in. You started to overthink and you start to put the blame on you. But the truth is, you were just so afraid to accept the reality that someone has been doing this behind your back. So the moment you owe your power, I mean, you owe it to yourself to be honest to yourself that you you didn't cause this, but rather that this person's behavior is what it is. Then that's the moment you start freeing yourself from all that blame and that negative prison you built in your head. You need to get out of your head here. Pisces, you need to keep healing yourself, moving forward, and don't accept what this person is trying to put on you. All right, this person is trying to make you believe this is all your fault, but it's not. All right, so the funny thing is, I see that this person could be the one angry now that you're gonna be happy by yourself. That's just what the cards are saying. This person isn't so happy seeing you happy after relieving yourself from all of this drama and I'm not yet getting into details of this reading but I highly feel that kind of energy and look at that we have three of pentacles and I know a lot of people um, hate it when someone says it's a third party situation but it could be it could be judging from the rest of the cards it could be a third party situation or something that has clearly brought this relationship apart something wasn't working out someone caused a a rift in the relationship it was something shocking something you didn't expect to happen something that you thought this person wasn't capable of doing um with this this three cards together see seven of swords five of swords in reverse and three of pentacles this combination alone tells me that you dealt with someone who always just um deceives you and puts their intentions first rather than your feelings. They they keep doing this to you. Someone is a player. Someone is manipulative. It could not even mean about a third party, but maybe try to deceive you about money. Because this is a pentacle card. This can mean regarding work, regarding um, an enterprise, a business that you, you maybe are working with, with this person. And someone tried to fool you with money. Okay? And this someone was someone you thought you could trust, all right? This was someone you thought you were in the same page with, but apparently this person wasn't, all right, to be honest. And we have your Five of Swords in reverse. Glad to see this in reverse as well. It means that you finally can breathe a little. This person um, already stopped acting sketchy and you I feel like you started to walk away with this person and I feel like the fights are almost coming to an end now now that someone has finally realized they've been acting child childish childlike you know it's a pointless kind of winning so I feel like uh, I'm, I'm getting a lot of messages to be honest with this reading I don't even see a lot of major in this reading so this means that it could be um, something that you you deal with every day with the person but you're lacking the strength to to break it up with this person or to change the course of the relationship because you think you're happy or this could mean that um, well you haven't really paid close attention to what you should do to change your life altogether because this is clearly not something that you deserve this is clearly not gonna what's not gonna bring you happiness prosperity and the progress that you um, that you've you've been working hard for because I see that you are working hard um, Pisces you're constantly putting the effort in waiting for something beautiful to grow and knowing your value knowing your worth however for some reason you've been landing on people and relationships that are not at par with what you deserve all right because of your kindness maybe people are taking advantage advantage of you as simple as that and it's funny enough because this person is still the one angry, charging in, maybe trying to even, um, 
trying to level with you, trying to explain why they did what they have to do, and trying to justify their actions, all right? Trying to justify their actions. It may be that their explanation is valid, but that doesn't mean it is warranted, all right? It is still up to you to decide what you should accept and what you shouldn't accept out of a partnership. And if you see that the relationship is overall falling apart, then this person can be valid with their arguments or their point of view explaining why they have to do this seven of swords, but it doesn't mean you should accept it. However, it's important for you to know that you should be able to forgive someone in the long run if you want to free yourself from all these negative thoughts. And this is not somewhere you want to stay. Eight of Swords is too much uh, negative thinking, overly thinking, that you're beginning to put a prison in your head. So the moment you accept that, you know, this person doesn't deserve to be in your life for now, then you're going to find your own happiness. Then you're going to find satisfaction, prosperity, and the reason to celebrate despite people doing this to you. Remember that the people you involved with don't need to define who you are. It just means that if someone did you wrong, then it's on them. It's on their decision to hurt you. And you don't need to uh, go down on this relationship with this person just because you love them. You know, commitment is something and love is something else. So even though you have intense connection, feeling, and love towards this person, if you know that this person is not good for you or this kind of energy they're trying to bring in in the relationship is not what you want to foster, then it's it's not too late for you to walk away. It's not too late for you to seek something better. And not of sorts, you know, I feel like um, you're dealing with, a, with an air sign. It could be a bit hot-headed, hot-tempered, and tendencies are if you keep letting this person have his way all the time or her way all the time, uh, he's going to get used to it. He's going to get used to doing and treating this um, you this way, all right? And that is not such a good thing. But with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like if that, this is not <clears throat> the same person or your energy, there might be someone new coming in your life, um, Pisces, who's totally different from this person you dealt with recently or in the past. And with the Page of Pentacles, this is a much younger energy than that of the Knight of Swords and very, very different. You know, this person is always up in the air, charging, looking for a fight for some reason or trying to fight about something. Could be for the good thing or bad thing, you know. Knight of Swords, always um, determined and motivated and aggressive. However, with the Page of Pentacles, this is someone more kind of like on the shy side, more innocent, more um, more serious about taking relationships to the next level. Even though this one is younger, he's, he eventually knows he's going to get to the king position. So if this is someone new who wants to offer love, then I think that you're going to try to consider that because I see you trying to... Um, shift your mindset maybe for some of you because you've dealt with someone who has played you on and on in the past you're kind of a bit apprehensive and resisting any form of love offer in the future but it doesn't necessarily have to be so when you're ready i feel like someone can offer you love and wants to offer you love a different kind of treatment than what has been shown to you in the past okay so that is your reading my dear pisces please meditate on this um, like and share this video and I'll talk to you guys soon.